Guilty until proven innocent. That's very dangerous for our country. That's very dangerous for our country. Breaking news, breaking news. So the FBI has uh, released their report to the Senate Judiciary Committee this morning and uh, all grounds clear for a vote. So Kavanaugh is, uh, is going to be the Supreme Court Justice. I mean, we already knew it, but now it's kind of official. So last night about 2 a.m., <clears throat> reading from the, uh, <laughs> the New York Times, the White House sent summaries of interviews conducted by the FBI to the Senate early Thursday morning, 2.30 in the morning, and expressed confidence that none of the information collected by agents should stand in the way of the Senate voting on to confirm Judge Brett M. Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court. Pow. Done deal. The material was conveyed to Capitol Hill in the middle of the night, just hours after Senate Republicans set the stage for a pair of votes later in the week to move to final approval of Judge Kavanaugh's nomination. A statement issued by the White House around 2.30 a.m. said the FBI had completed its work that, and that it represented an unprecedented look at a nominee. It's true. No, no, uh, no nominee prior to this had ever been. Uh, this is not a criminal investigation, by the way. Let's, let's not let the liberal media spin it into a criminal investigation into a Supreme Court justice because that's what they'll, they're about to do. This was a background check, a background check, right? Even the Times says it. After component, what does the Times say it? Fucking Times. They hit. They hide it on the bottom. Yeah, an FBI background investigation differs considerably from more familiar criminal investigations, and is based principally on gathering information to inform decisions by senators and the White House. In a criminal investigation, agents make critical investigation decisions in s about scope and strategy, and they are able to use search warrants and subpoenas to compel evidence. <clears throat> agents working on a background investigation have no such tools, and they are explicit they get they get explicit marching orders through the White House. So, big difference. So, this is a funny comment. Senate Dianne Feinstein of California, top Democrat on the Judicial Committee, warned before the interviews were even received that they might be worthless because the investigation did not include interviews with Judge Kavanaugh and Blasey, Blasey Ford or witnesses identified as cooperators by Ms. Ramirez. I think they're talking about Slutnik or whatever her name was. Those restrictions, she wrote, raise serious concerns that this is not a credible investigation and begs the question, what other restrictions has the White House placed on the FBI? See, that right there, the Democrats, when it's in their favor, then, oh, then it's a, it's a, it's a really good investigation. Comey's investigation was very thorough and... and 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 uh, and accurate, but when it goes against them, oh, it's a piece of crap. It's not, it's it's invalid. Right? So that's that's classic uh, politics right there. So, so there you go. So there's a lot of there's a lot of very revealing, um, a lot of very revealing uh, details came out. I love the. I mean, Trump's Trump's comments, Trump's uh, ability to to dissolve to diffuse the confusion where some would argue that he's actually making confusion. But in my view, he's actually, he's, he's speaking what most people feel about the subject. 36 years ago, this happened. I had one beer, right? I had one beer. Well, do you think it was, nope, it was one beer. Oh, good. How did you get home? I don't remember. How'd you get there? I don't remember. Where is the place? I don't remember. How many years ago was it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What neighborhood was it in? I don't know. Where's the house? I don't know. Upstairs, downstairs, where was it? I don't know. But I had one beer. That's the only thing I remember. 
the president was stating the facts, uh, and frankly, facts that were included in Special Prosecutor Rachel Mitchell's report. He was stating facts that were given during Dr. Ford's testimony, and the Senate has to make a decision based on those facts. I think also um, Sarah Huck Huckabee Sanders says it the best. I mean, she makes the biggest point. The biggest point in this is that the Senate Democrats have turned the the judicial into a into a shit show it, like it doesn't matter this entire process has been a disgrace and the only reason that it's been that way is because senate democrats didn't do this the way that it should have been done and they circumvented the entire system and frankly they've undermined our entire judicial branch by the way that they've acted and the inappropriateness of which they've conducted themselves it's supposed to be separations of power right there's judicial there's legislative and there's executive. They're three separate branches of power. That's the way the Constitution was designed, right? But with these guys, with these current, the current set of, of uh, the, the current playing field is that it's all mushed into one. And the media just, you know, the media is the, is the, is the, uh, is the arm of the oligarchy. It's always the oligarchy. It's always, the, it's always the, the money above it. But what's happening is Sarah, Sarah Huckabee Sanders says it best and that the the idea that you bring a witness 35 years after the fact without ever with, with no judicial intervention not a single court has ever seen any of this right there's nothing there's no evidence there's nothing there's no significant evidence in the record none of the story really really adds up to a, a sexual assault and it, it, it basically, although it was an outstanding performance, I mean, I watched the performance and five minutes after that performance, I talked about it as being an outstanding performance by, by Ford, the, the said accuser. And what is the motive? I mean, the, now the record shows that she made a million dollars in a GoFundMe account. She's got another million dollars in her pocket for, for, for that stuff. Now she, she also has as as always democratic cover right she went to bat for the team you know remember remember when um remember when hillary clinton said it about uh, or or uh, debbie wasserman schultz said it she took a hit for the team or you know because that's what they do they t she so so blase ford just took a hit for the team now she's officially on the team and and they they're like snakes in the grass you know they lie they lie for each other so what did she get out of it what is it because what is the motive for a, for a, a doctor? <laughs> is she even a doctor? Right, a psychiatrist, a psychologist, whatever. Some schmuck that works 100 hours a week. And, and uh, right. So what is the motive? She's got a million dollars. She's got, she's now, she's on now on the world stage. Motive. Motive. Motive, right? 51-year-old woman. She she knows all she knows she knows how to push all the right buttons in terms of, you know what is what is the diagnoses of a person attacked and she just goes on like a mouthpiece and 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 spews it out in front of the Senate. But the bigger point is what Sarah Huckabee Sanders says is that it's it's a it's a denigration of the system because judicial judicial Democrats, right separate branch of power took this and held it up as if it was law that's why it's a it's a mockery right did president trump mock ford no the the senate democrats mock the system by not allowing the system to work right? and that, that is the fundamental problem because the democratic the judicial this so the, the the um senators are so on the take these democrats take the money from the donors and this is the decisions that you get it has nothing to do with I mean, people want to think it has to do with social issues, but it really doesn't. The, the, Kavanaugh is a corporatist. He leans on a certain side of the corporate aisle, right? And the Democrats want him to lean on their side of the corporate aisle. At the end of the day, people get screwed anyway. But, I mean, that's, that's, that's for you to figure it out. <laughs> I can only say it 500 times and, and, then, and then leave it to you uh, for you to decide. But I think that Trump's commentary is 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 the American way. Trump is the American. Uh, anybody who disputes that and his 
his his comments at the end of that rant are amazing he talks about in a comical way and then and then in, in classic trump fashion he's joking and then you could feel the tragedy in the comment at the end when he says he says that that uh, men he talks about the prosecution of men i think this was the point that a lot of people missed when they listened to trump's rant is that he talked about the prosecution of men in this country by women so this is an important time for our country this is a time when your father when your husband when your brother when your son could do great mom i did great in school i've worked so hard mom i'm so pleased to tell you i just got a fantastic job with ibm i just got a fantastic job with general motors i just got i'm so proud mom a terrible thing just happened a person who i've never met said that i did things that were horrible and they're firing me from my job mom i don't know what to do mom what do i do what do i do mom what do i do mom it's a damn sad situation okay and we better start as a country getting smart and getting tough and not letting that stuff right back there, all those cameras, tell us how to live our lives. Because they are really dishonest people. Not all of them, but damn well most of them. That I can that's tell a, That's a touchy subject. I mean, men are held to this alimony. They can be thrown in jail for not, for not paying this child support, even when they don't have money. They can lose their passport. They can lose their driver's license. Right? They, they can lose their children. Right? They have to go to the courts to get permission to see their children. It's, it's a travesty of justice that men go through in this country. And I think that Trump sees it and touched on it. And it was widely missed by the... Uh, it was widely missed yesterday by the corporate media. So that's why I'm talking about it. I think his, his, his commentary on, because, because the Democrats are, it's a, it's a war between the sexes because they have no legitimate policies. They have no legitimate ground anymore to stand on. So they create a war. They create conflicts between people. And what better way to do it than a war between the sexes? You know, if there's a war between the sexes, then there'll be no people left, right? So that's a Joe Jackson line from the, from the song. But uh, it, it's, uh, it was, it's pretty heavy to watch. I mean, I think that although Trump's, you know, bravado and humor, it, where, he, where he, he points out the fact that there is no evidence, that it's just speculation, and a man's reputation had been destroyed somewhat. He's going to be the Supreme Court justice. But Trump points it out, but he makes that, that riveting, riveting point about the prosecution of men in our country and, and that that must change. So. My name is Marcus Conti reporting. Oh, uh, if you buy some stickers right now on eBay, I have my sticker link down below. You're going to get it with the uh, new John Lennon, the new John Lennon uh, stamps. These are cool, right? Fucking John Lennon. I love John Lennon. Uh, forever, John Lennon in the background. Playing the white piano. Uh, I love John Lennon. So, um, kindly con contribute uh, if you like this programming. Oh, I'll, I'll say one last note on the uh, on Jen Moore, uh, for those following that story. Uh, that email is real, okay? So, the, the email that was sent to me, I know I'm a joker. I know you don't know if I'm pulling your leg, but that's part of the game, right? You have to figure it out, right? You got to use your brain. If you're going to come to this channel and you're going to comment and you're going to watch, watch, you know, Wayne's World, you got to, you got to, you got to think about it. So that that email <clears throat> is authentic. <clears throat> it's authentic in in the sense that it was sent to me. Now, is it an 11 year old? People have commented that uh, that uh, they have seen this particular person speaking or or chatting or posting somewhere. 
I did not see, chat, or talk to anybody on any stupid board, right? Well, I'm telling you that it was sent to me, and I just put it out, right? Whether it's real or not, I don't, I don't know. That's, that's not, that's past my uh, pay grade, right? I don't, I'm not going to figure out the details. All I could tell you is that there are a lot of, sh I've been saying it all along, there's a lot of shady characters surrounding this case, and we're going to continue to flush them out. And, uh, but most, of, most importantly, the email that I, okay. Yeah. I did a Seth Rich interview and I interviewed Imran Awan and they were bullshit. Right. But, but that, that email, that email, I tell you right now is, is real. It was sent to me. Is it really the, the kid? I, I don't know. You figure it out. So, uh, my name is Marcus reporting party on what's happening now. They had gang rape, a gang rape. Many times. Well, that turned out to be false. So many different charges. Guilty until proven innocent. That's very dangerous for our country. That's very dangerous for our country. And I have it myself all the time. But for me, it's like a part of the job description. <laughs> Let it happen to me. Shouldn't happen to him. Shouldn't happen to him. What he's going through. 36 years ago, this happened. I had one beer, right? I had one beer. Well, do you think it was, nope, it was one beer. Oh, good. How did you get home? I don't remember. How'd you get there? I don't remember. Where is the place? I don't remember. How many years ago was it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What neighborhood was it in? I don't know. Where's the house? I don't know. Upstairs, downstairs, where was it? I don't know. But I had one beer. That's the only thing I remember. And a man's life is in tatters. A man's life is shattered. His wife is shattered. His daughters, who are beautiful, incredible young kids, they destroy people. They want to destroy people. These are really evil people.